We have a trade in the NHL between the Maple Leafs and the Avalanche. It's a one-for-one -one deal. We'll discuss the details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have a trade between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Colorado Avalanche. It's been a little while since we've actually had some activity, so this is nice to see. Although it's not, you know, too huge of a deal, it's still something to talk about. That's, uh, you know, we're getting close to the roster freeze actually for the holidays anyway. So we likely won't get any more trades. I mean, it's possible they could come today. But I believe it's this evening or tomorrow that the, the deadline is for trades until after the holidays. The NHL put that in place so that players are not being asked to change teams uh, or too close to Christmas and afterwards. So the deal is one for one. Dennis Malkin traded from the Toronto Maple Leafs to the Avalanche in exchange for Dryden Hunt. For Dryden Hunt, this will be his third NHL team this season. Uh, he's appeared in 25 games this year. He's 27 years old. He's only scored the one goal for the Avs this year. Uh, of course, he started with the New York Rangers, played a couple of games there, was put on waivers, picked up by the Avalanche, and now he's off to Toronto. In the case of Dennis Malgan, uh, of course, he's played 23 games for the Leafs, appeared uh, scoring two goals, two assists, had a really, really good preseason. Um, it's not something that we want to put a lot of stock into the preseason. Sometimes the results can kind of mislead you a little bit, and it's probably a good example of that. Uh, Malgan came back to the Leafs. Of course, he's you know been a player, played in the NHL before, went back to Europe for a few years. Uh, you know, was brought back by the Leafs this year in a one-year deal, seven fifty, and was doing phenomenal preseason. I think he had, I can't remember exactly, but I know it was like five, six, seven goals. Looked like a real solid potential top six forward for them. And very quickly early in the season, slipped down from the top six to the bottom six and really hasn't produced a whole lot. Of course, Dryden Hunt's making just a smidge more, 762000 They're both on expiring contracts. So term-wise is the same. Money's pretty much the same. Uh, it gives each player a fresh start in each, each team. Just a little bit different kind of player to mix into their roster in a different role. So we'll see if this deal works out. Uh, like I said, it's nothing too substantial. Just a case of uh, both players getting a fresh start on a new team, trying to see if they can find a more effective spot for them to play. So we'll see where this goes. But as I mentioned, like I said, the roster freeze is kicking in here soon. So there may not be many more trades until after the Christmas holidays. Uh, but we'll certainly discuss all the latest rumblings from around the league in another video later today. So you know what might be possibly going down at a later date. Let me know your thoughts on this deal. Of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and stick around. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest news, rumors, and analysis of all 32 NHL teams. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.